Good morning. <clears throat> Got a peanut. Well, good morning, good morning. Hi, I'm Darla Morris, and I am also known as the Lazy Daisy Stamper. And I am coming to you today from beautiful Granbury, Texas, where the weather has finally gotten a little bit cooler. Thank the Lord. Thought I was just going to burn up. I'm trying to ooch my screen over a little bit so I can see comments when they come on. So, hey, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator, and I am here to help you with your all of your stamping needs. Hi, Stella. Oh, good, good. I'm glad you got your happy mail. I finally got all the mail out. It was like stacking up, you know, and, and I finally had to just deal with the mess. So <laughs> I'm glad you got it. Um, I forgot where I was. I got so excited. Um, okay, I'm here to help you use your Stampin' Up! beautiful products because they are the best products on the market in my opinion and i'm here to maybe get those um creative juices flowing a little bit and sometimes we all have trouble getting our creative juices going i know i do um and i know what i do to get them going is i just sit down and i start playing and then one thing leads to another and then bam i've been here for four hours wow Okay, so I am going to, let me see, I'm looking at my notes because I have lost my notes. I don't even know where they are. I've got some cheater sheets down here, but hey, we'll just wing it today because it's Monday, right? And Mondays are difficult at best. So I'm going to turn the camera down and see what we got going here. Um... Let me find my thingy. There we go. I'm going to turn it down. Okay, we got Wendy. Good morning, Wendy. Welcome. And Linda, hi. So, as you can see, this is what we made. Now, it wasn't last week because my husband had an injection. And praise the Lord, I think this injection might be working. Oh, Yes, please. Hi, Dana. Welcome. It's the first time I've uh, seen you here, I think, maybe, or maybe it's been a very long time, but welcome. Where are you from? So anyway, um, we made these cards um, two weeks ago, I'm almost positive. And so we are going to give those away and... We are going to spin this wheel to see who wins these cards. Now you say, how does my name get on this wheel? Well, your name gets on this wheel with every comment that you make. You get a, a, a slot. And if you share my video, <laughs> hesitant first time, well, don't. Oh, good, you're local, Fort Worth. Well, I'm in Granbury, so yay. Maybe we'll get to meet one day. Okay, so to get your name on this Wheel of Fortune, as I call it, you make comments, and if you share my video, your name gets put on there twice. Yay! So, um, we're going to spin to see who wins these two projects. And if you share my video, and you do have to tell me, then your name at the beginning of, let's see, this is the beginning of November, the first Monday, or whenever I do my next, my first live in November, I do a special wheel for those that just shared my video, and they win a uh, an embellishment of my choosing. Uh, we need to have line H sometimes okay I'm not quite sure what that is but yeah 
we do need our special crafting time without a doubt. All right, so before we spin, I do want to tell you or refresh your memory because we all have very short memories these days, or at least I do. But Stampin' Up! has a starter kit special and you will receive $155 worth of product of your choice for only $99. Wow, wow, that is awesome. And then if you don't wanna do another thing, you don't have to. But if you do, I'm here to help you. And there are so many wonderful demonstrators out there that share their knowledge. So it's, uh, it's like a win-win situation. Plus, even if you don't do anything but buy the products and you know you're gonna buy them, right? I mean, we all have this need to buy more stamps. <laughs> At least I do. But then you get a 20% discount and you will get that discount, I think through March and possibly April. So yay, that is awesome. And then I want you to also be sure and check out the kits area on my, uh, my online store. And this is my online store. This is how you find me. I am the Lazy Daisy Stampers with an S dot stampin' up dot net. And then when you place an order, please use my current host code. Now it's only good until probably the middle of the last week of the month. And then I get excited and I close it out because I've got orders on there as well. So please use that if your order is under 150. So there you go. I think that's it. If I think of anything else as we go, I'll holler. But let's get to spinning to see who's gonna win. Is that just not the cutest thing? So simple, but I love it. Same card, same layout, different paper. Love it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's see who's going to win these two cards. Who is it? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> now, Terry, it's been a while for you, young lady. Hey, where did my pad? Oh, there it is. Congratulations, Terry. I don't think I've seen Terry on here yet this time. But she'll be on here. She may watch the replay. And speaking of replay, you can even make comments when you're watching the replay to get your name on the Wheel of Fortune. And also tomorrow, this video will be up on YouTube. And my channel on YouTube is called Lazy Daisy Stampers. Um, so check it out, like it, subscribe, ring that bell, do whatever it takes to give it some action because I really need to work on the, um, let's see, the analytics, I think that's what it's called. Uh, I, anyway, I, I've got a lot of work to do on YouTube before my videos even get noticed. So I'm gonna put this up. I think I'll have another M&M because that gets my juices flowing too, you know. I will tell you, mm, mm, those are so good. Mm, I do love them. Okay. I have, uh, I've lost my thingy. And yes, Dana, lunch sometime. What are you cooking? Okay, so here's my envelope. I went ahead and decorated my envelope, which I love to do. Now, this one is very simple, but 
very cute. Now, we're going to use the snow crystal. Does anybody have the snow crystal? I love it. It's just one big old stamp. It's very nice. Okay, there's my card base. You know our card base. You get two card bases out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of cardstock. You cut it in half and then you score it in half and you've got two card bases. And our first layer is, I believe this is Starry Sky and it is five and one quarter by four. That's gonna go on there. I've lost my uh, cheater card. I don't know where it is. So we're kind of winging it on, on this one because you know my memory is really sucky. And uh, it's been a while since I made this card. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat emboss this on, um, I think that's Coastal Cabana. Let me see, I don't wanna tell you wrong. Um, yes, it is, Coastal Cabana. And that one was Starry Night. And this is Versamark, I don't know if uh, any of y'all have used Versamark before, but it's invisible, sticky, sticky, sticky. And we use it to heat emboss. I'm going to use my embossing buddy. That kind of takes the static and the um, oil from your hands off so that the embossing powder doesn't stick so much to it. Now what I'm going to do, and this is not going to all, all fit on this card, but I'm going to get most of it, okay? I'm going to just, there we go. Now I'm just going to take a block. Now with Versamark, I like to kind of give it a few seconds to really soak up that sticky, gooey, wonderful, clear stuff on my cardstock. And then, there we go. Invisible, almost. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my white embossing powder. I am so excited that Stampin' Up! finally came out with an embossing kit. You know, they took our embossing buddy away a couple of years ago, which I thought, what on earth are you thinking? Well, evidently they came to their senses or I'm sure they watched my video and saw my comment about, you know, what were you thinking, and then rectified their mistake. Don't you think that's probably what happened? <laughs> that's a joke. Okay, there's that. Now, I've got a little squiggly something, something going on right there. Y'all, my husband's got the dead burn heater on. I can hear it upstairs just blasting away. I'm telling you that, man, we fight over that controller like nobody's business. Of course, I'm hot and he's cold. Okay, I'm going to heat emboss this. And if you've never heat embossed, oh, you're in for a treat. It's absolutely magic. Okay, I'm going to get a better grip make sure my edges are good okay just giving my heat gun a little chance to heat up so here we go now I hold it in one place pretty close and then when I see it start to turn I'll start moving it around now to begin with there we go there it goes and I hope you can see it
I am never ceased to be amazed by heat embossing. I just love it. This is a big surface to heat emboss, so it's going to take just a minute. Max, what's the matter down there? You hollering? <laughs> Max wants in on the heat embossing part. There we go. I hope y'all could see it turn. I'm going to close that up because he stuck his nose to the end of that the other day and burnt his little nose, poor little baby. I told him not to, but since when do puppies and children listen to you, right? Well, he might next time. So there it is, heat embossed. Isn't that lovely? Ooh. I like it. All right, then we're gonna put it like into that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two together. Let me see if I've got any glue left in this. I might not, and if I do, yeah, forget about it. Sure wish I could remember what this card's supposed to look like. I guess we'll kind of be winging this as we go, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. How are ya? Good morning, Linda. I know, I love these colors, Linda. And they're not your typical Christmas, but you know, we can make winter cards. Winter cards doesn't have to be all Christmas, do they? I don't think so. So, when I heat emboss, um, I normally will put a little extra glue because the paper has been, you know, torqued and changed a bit with the heat embossing. Okay, so I know I've got this. Is this not beautiful paper? Have y'all seen this paper? Where is it? I don't know what I did with it. If you could see this desk, you would wonder, how on earth does she do anything? Well, I wonder that too sometimes. All right, I don't know. We're gonna stick this down. I'm gonna use my plus with, um, with this, and I'm just going to put it maybe off-center just a tad bit. And then we're gonna put something like that. Hey, what am I gonna put? I don't know where my stamp is. Let me get it. Hold on just one second, okay? I wonder if I could use this one. No, hold on. That's what I get for cleaning up. I, every time I clean up, I lose stuff or stuff I was gonna make gets moved and then, you know, it's just kind of crazy sometimes. I'm using Merry and Bright and we're going back. And that comes out of the Sweet Candy Canes, by the way, which is another really nice set. I should have done this when I did my my snowflake, but hey, that would take some thinking ahead, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, I want to get that in the center and I want to get it straight. Good morning, Susan. Patricia, thank you for sharing. Thank you so very much. Okay, 
fingers crossed, I can't really tell quite yet. I think I did good though. I think so. See if I can do this without burning my fingers. Out, I can't. Okay. There we go. See it turning? Oh, I love it. And that's all there is to it. Pretty quick and easy. Oh, isn't it pretty? Oop. Okay, and then you could pop this up. Of course you could, and I think this is probably the first card I've made in a very long time with not a dimensional on it. What is this world coming to? There, that's Mo Betta. Oh, is that sweet? Look at that. Oh, that paper behind there is so pretty, y'all. Now, how easy was that? I mean, the heat embossing takes a bit of effort and a little bit of extra time, but Oh, it is so well worth it. I'm just hoping I haven't made this card for y'all before. <laughs> I always kind of get this feeling. Now, have I made this card uh, on one of my videos? If I ever do that, y'all tell me. Okay, so there we go. There's our first card. Is that lovely? <gasps> yes. It is. Okay, gonna put that up there and we're gonna carry on. I'm gonna throw this away so I don't grab it. Let me clean up my mess here just for a second. Well, not clean it up, but move it out of the way. I'll have to clean it later because that one is pretty messy. Pretty messy. And this next one, oh. I don't know what it is, but I love making fall cards. I don't send fall cards out, unless it's a birthday in the fall, you know, I'll do one of those, but you know, I just, I don't know, but I, I maybe it's the colors that I love. Mmm, here we go, here we go. Bam! Is that beautiful or what? And I will tell you, the paper does most of the work. I love it when that happens. So here's our card. Hmm, how cute. Vellum. I love it. So, oopsie. Stand up. We're using the Hello Harvest. We're using the beautiful designer paper that comes in the suite. Oh my word. There, this paper, I love it. It is just beautiful. I've used quite a bit of it, but I still have more to use. So it's just like, oh wow. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I could, I could have used that uh, instead of the pumpkins, that would be beautiful. I love that. And then there's a green one. Where's the green? Oh, there it is. There's the green one way back there. And of course, you know that's got to be my favorite. Green. Okay. And then we're going to be using some of this vellum from the Vellum Layering Designs 
and I'm using the, I don't know, it's some kind of cursive writing all in different, in, it's got in white, and it also, they have one that's in black. Very pretty. This paper comes in white and black. So very, very, very pretty. I love it. Okay, so here is our Cajun Craze card base. Again, two per a sheet of paper. Um, this is going to be for the inside. Where are my stamps? Oh, they're all in here. Let me get Oopsie. That was a little loud, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, God. That, the bottom just keeps on going. All right. Let's see what we got. Because, again, it's been a while since I've uh, made this card. I'm hungry. Dana's cooking made me hungry. Okay, this is for the inside. What did I do for the inside? Ooh, mmm, that's pretty. Let's go ahead and do a little stamping out of the Cajun and the Mossy Meadow using this leaf. So I'm gonna use the leaf. This is gonna go on the inside of the card. There's one there. Oh, that's Cajun Craze. And there's one there. I'm gonna clean my stamp off over here to the side where you cannot see. Oh, while I've got that little strip and my Cajun, it says, you are such a blessing. And I'm going to stamp it right here on this little strip of paper, kind of off to the left side, okay? Hoping I get that semi-straight. Oh, that kind of boogered up right there. Aren't you glad our paper has two sides? Okay, let's try to do a better job on that B. All right, come on. Do it right. All right, here we go. Mo better. Yes, sir, I can live with that one. And now for the mossy meadows, we're going to stamp another leaf like a that for the inside and like a that to die cut out. I think we're done stamping. Um, oh dear. Oh. Bring in my little mini. You know, um, my, my handle broke on my other little mini. <clears throat> I just never got around to calling Stampin' Up for them to replace it, and I just ordered another one. So, whenever I get around to calling them, I'm sure they'll replace my other one, and then I'll have two. That'll be fun. I love the mini. I wasn't going to get it uh, to begin with because I had the big one, and I'm thinking, that is just... A waste of money. Well, it's not. I love this thing. But I will tell you, I miss the magnetic plate. I really, really do. That was nice. There we go. Okay, there we go. Scrap piece of paper. I think that's all I've got to cut out. Pretty sure. Okay, 
This goes on the inside. Let's go ahead and just stick it down and get rid of it, okay? Before something happens. Okay. Oh, goodness. Melissa or Melissa Aguilar. Nope, cannot talk to you. Sorry. And then this is the paper, the beautiful DSP. And of course, it's the first layer size, which is four by five and a quarter. I'm going to glue that down. Melissa's probably going to call back. Unless when I hang up like that, it goes straight to voicemail. I wonder if that's what it does. Does anybody know? I don't know either. Okay, and then here's my vellum. Okay, so vellum, you can't really uh, put glue behind it because it shows. So this is going to go somewhere like right in there so I can turn it over and put it approximately there. That was seal plus. I'm glad I was able to get that up because that was not straight. Okay, there we go. And then I think I popped this up, but before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. I'm gonna snip off some of this end. because my leaves are gonna cover it up. This is Mossy Meadow, and this measures one and a half by four, and it's gonna go right there, but I'm gonna pop it up. But before I do, I'm going to glue down. I don't want that hanging over that end because that's right there on the edge. So, you know, you gotta be aware of that. And then that will go right there. Isn't that pretty? I love it already. Now, I ran out of my seam binding white. So uh, this is a uh, classic weave the white and I'm just going to make a little bunny ear bow a little bitty one well not quite so little but there we go and attach it up there with a glue dot Now you know these glue dots are leftovers from uh, like a paper pumpkin or uh, any of our kits because they, they come with these glue dots. I'm going to put two because this is a little bit um, more substantial weight of a material than the seam binding was. I'm just going to put that uh, right there. And then I'm going to pop it up simply because we can. And you know I love these strips. These are our double sided adhesive strips, which are awesome. Smash it down ah, so it sticks real good. Okay. And now, okay, you see how vellum 
kind of raises up. That's okay. We are going to take some glue dots and stick those four corners down. And that fixes that problem. Because these little glue dots won't show, for one thing, you know, this has a busy print on it. Now you might like your vellum to curl up and have some dimension. I'm not particularly fond of that happening. But there are instances where, you know, you might want that to happen. So there we go. Woo. Are we done? No, I got to put some embellishments on it, okay? I used some of our brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. Oh, that's a mouthful, isn't it? All right, I'm just going to use one of those. Maybe one of those. I'm using the smaller ones just because. Okay. Yay. I hope I did good on my time today. I, I can't tell. But anyway, there are, there's, co um, I'm sorry, I can't talk. There's card number two. So, now don't forget about the joining special for the month of October. Don't forget to go to YouTube under Lazy Daisy Stampers and like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Um, and then don't forget to use my host code when ordering any of these products that you might need. Oh good, Donna, I'm glad and thank you for sharing. Um, okay, great. Well, there's our two projects for the day. I hope that you like them. I absolutely love that. I think it's the colors. I don't know. Anyway, have a blessed week. And good Lord willing and the crick don't rise, I'll see you here next Monday at 10 a.m. on Darla's Cards. Please share my video. And um, that's it. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.